Sup kids, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just picked up myself an LED camping light. I got this off Amazon. I was pretty cheap and uh, it just seemed to be kind of a popular item. It looks like it collapses there. Uh, let's not waste any more time. This is going to be a true unboxing. Um, I believe it actually came from China. So when you order it, it's going to take a little while. There was no prime shipping available on this uh, per se. Um, so it did take a little while. And it's pretty big. It's actually um, bigger than a Coke can. Not height wise, but uh, um, in diameter, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like the like the lower half of uh, a tennis ball tube, maybe. But it's pretty meaty down here. This is actually, I expected it to be a, kind of much smaller, so I'm fairly pleased with that. It has these two metal bars that open up like this, and then I assume it just pulls out, just like that. Bam! Look at that! And... It has kind of that plastic chrome uh, painted finish and looks like 10 LEDs on each of the three panels. So you've got kind of your own little miniature lighthouse. So just kind of opens and shuts here. It doesn't click in a place, just slides on resistance. It kind of feels like I'm pushing air out. It feels like a, a, a pump. It says divine LEDs. So the key here is getting it to work. So the bottom screws off. Looks like I need three trip or AA batteries. So let me find All some. right guys, hunted down some uh, AAA or AA batteries, three of them, screwed them in here to the bottom of the base. And um, now I know how you turn the sucker on because there's no obvious switches. You actually just pull it open and there's a switch somewhere, maybe at the bottom. As soon as it opens up, it powers on, which is kind of nice uh, because you can actually, um, regulate how much light you get uh, by only opening up so much. The thing here is it's bright. Uh, you know, this is probably, uh, you're probably not going to really capture a lot of this on camera here, but these LEDs, when I'm looking right into them, dude, you're squinting. They are pretty freaking bright. The, the thing about it is, and let me kill the lights here. All right, so I have no lights on other than this lamp. Uh, they kind of are a little bit of projector beamish. Um, you know, what I what I was thinking is if you had you know, uh, kind of one of those white gro plastic grocery bags or a Kleenex or something and you wrapped it around there, it actually might diffuse this a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm surprised that maybe there's not a little bit of frosting to the glass. I kind of understand that you want to uh, broadcast the light as far as possible. This sucker definitely is bright though, and I think it says, um, I don't know, emergency safety. I thought actually somewhere it said like ultra bright, and uh, you know, it is. I, I would definitely use this. It could sit in the, um, in the middle of your table in the evening. You could play cards, etc., etc. Like I said, uh, you know, you may want to kind of use something to dampen the, the uh, the intensity of the light but overall it's really nice it's very light because of how um, how much ever because everything's plastic uh, but it is a little bit bigger so keep that in mind as you're uh, thinking of taking it along might be a little bit big for a backpack but uh, for your everyday camping trips uh, it's gonna be a cool thing so three LED or three double-a batteries with all of these LEDs, man, produces a lot of light. Maybe the only lantern you need on your camp out. Peter Von Panda, out.